little chilly outside. All right. Now then, since I've learned how to eat, I will now eat. Here we go. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. He said, break the claw. So here we go. I'm going to break the claw. Let me see here. Do that. Go. Break the claw. Oh, no. Oh, actually, this would be easy. Break the claw. Here we go. Oh, whoops. Lost one of my utensils. Just set that right there. Whatever. Break the claw. Break the claw. Break the claw. Break the claw. Here we go. Come on. I did it. Finally. Ignore that. All right. Now for the second part. You gotta suck it like a straw. Oh, it's stuck. Oh. Suck it like a straw. Let's put it back out. It ain't working. I got nothing. I got nothing. You lied to me, Blaine. I broke the claw. I broke the smaller claw. And now look, look at this, huh? What am I supposed to do with this? I suck in, I suck out, nothing happens. I'm just, I'm just making it look like a messed up smiley face. It's your fault, Blaine. Your fault. I'm done. Freaking done. Welcome everyone to Advice Episode 2. Alright, so today, just so you know, the background game currently is in the sky. It's free to play, download, and get it on Steam. It's really easy. But anyway, Blaine. At first, I taught you really just how to survive in the wilderness, right? You know, how to live in nature. How to survive in nature, actually. Then you taught me you taught me how to live. You taught me how to Make sure that I really just enjoy myself. Make sure I get the right nutrients in nature. So really today, I'm just going to tell you how nature lives. Okay? Specifically trees. How are you not going to emotionally scar a tree for life? Because I just feel like you really need this. Okay? Okay? So, basically, let me just uh, tell you the life cycle of the tree. So basically, just like all living things, it is basically, you know, it starts out as a seed, then goes to sprout, seedling, sapling, then it's mature to its decline until it finally just kind of dies off and it's deposited back into the soil. Now then, what does this mean? Well, basically, you know, you plant to the ground, it's a seed, whatever. Then all you do Basically, you know, it goes to a sprout, it's a seedling. Now, at a seedling, though, it's most susceptible to being killed. So you really got to protect it, nurture it, really care for it at this point. Alright? You can't just, like, let it go off by itself. You really got to, you know, emotionally, like, help it out. Then, at a sapling, you know, it's going to, you know, roughly, like, one to four inches, you know. But you still have to be careful with it. However, then it's mature. It's a grown-up tree now. It's been living its life on the edge. It's done with its college days. There's no need for any of that. So then... This is... Now, when it's mature... Like an adult one, alright? So, it's, this is the best time to freaking uh, cut it. I'm sorry, this, this planet is refusing to let me land. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. That's the first time that's happened. <laughs> oh no, I'm about to run out of fuel. Okay. Anyway, back to, back to trees. Back to trees. So it's best to kill it when it's mature, cut it down. I'll give you more advice on that later. Anyway, if you still don't kill it, like it's going to slowly decline basically. Like, you know, it's still going to give you fruits and all that once it's mature. It gives you fruits, you know. It will still help you out. However, in the end, it will eventually start to decline. 
and well you'll just you'll lose a lot really just you'll just lose a lot on it in the end it will finally die and then it just kind of dies and it, you know deposit in the soil the soil grabs back its nutrients and the life cycle just starts again anyway on to the next bit of advice because you know I taught you what how the tree feels how you have to care for it while it grows but really <laughs> what I know you really need in life is how to cut down a tree all right so basically how to fell a tree in the right direction is where just so you know I'm gonna give you some hints on this all right basically you got to have a directional notch into it. You just got to cut into it. All right, with like single straight down line of just like wood. But, you know, in many ways, you have to get a larger chainsaw if you have like a really large one. So you really have to be careful. But rotten tree rotten trees, man, or dead trees, you got to you got to call in some professional because those things, those things, you'll start cutting into it and bam, it falls, kills your house. Done. That's it. There's no insurance for fallen dead trees. I checked. Your insurance doesn't cover it. This is a space battle. I'm just gonna ignore it. Oh, just, just ignore it. Just ignore it. Alright. Now, here's the thing. Here's what you really need, okay? Here's what you actually need. Okay, all these have been, like, advice tips, you know, just in case you need these, but, like, oh my goodness, you need this. This is, like, the most important thing in the history of the world for you, because, honestly, without this, I don't think you're going to make it through life, because I, I don't think you've ever learned how to do this. How to plant a tree. How to make it grow again. Because I know you. You never freaking do this. You just let the treetops float in the sky on Minecraft. And then you don't replant them. You don't cut them down and you don't freaking replant them. Like, what the heck, man? What did I just do? Whoops. I just skipped a planet. Okay, whatevs. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted. I was angry. You, like, you just sit there and, like, watch the tree sit there. Like, dude, you got to put the directional notch. You have to get all the tree. If you leave part of the tree, so I'm going back to cutting down a tree because I forgot something. When you, If you don't cut down all the tree, it's going to cause you problems later in life, okay? It's going to cause you many a problems. Got to take care of it you don't take care of it like you're just it's not worth it but anyway how to replant the tree because this is cutting down the tree and freaking replanting the tree are honestly the most important things you freaking need because like you have so much trouble with this all right now then place the tree you gotta prepare prepare a hole two or three times as wide all right you gotta have that there's a it's a freaking dog. I was told this was a child. I was told this was a child. Well, it was her. Oh, jeez. This dog is so gonna grow up in my freaking area, but. Whatever. Okay. Anyway. Back to. Then you have to backfill the hole. You gotta put the dirt back in from the hole after you place a tree. You have a giant hole in the ground, you place a tree in it, you fill it up with dirt, alright? Then you have to stake the tree, alright? Drive the root ball into the ground, drive it downwards, as if you're actually doing something once you're in your darn life. Freaking miserable life, okay? Actually, just do something for once, okay? Jeez. Okay. Once you stake it down for once, you have to water it. You gotta water the tree, or else you're gonna emotionally scar it. 
don't replant, we can actually, like, cut it down correctly. You're gonna emotionally scar this tree. It's not gonna be happy, alright? Now that you know this, that's all I got for you, okay? Don't, don't, don't kill our trees. See ya.